receives thousands of incoming international students each year, and the CBSA wants to make sure they have all the right information. I am Officer Klutze with the Canada Border Service Agency, and we are here in the Voluntary Compliance Office in Secondary, which is where you must get your study permit after you enter into Canada. Remember that your visa to enter Canada and your study permits are two different documents and requirements. First, you must enter through our primary inspection line, and then your eligibility for your study permit is determined here by a different border services officer. Quick tip, if you are entering into Canada at an airport that is not your final destination, remember to leave enough time in your domestic layover to get your study permit. You are required to get your study permit at the location of your first entry, no matter where you plan to study.